12-year-old Trinity Morris of Buffalo, New York, spent seven months raising money to attend a cheerleading competition in Myrtle Beach next week. Fundraisers like cookie dough and Zappa snacks and yeah, a lot of stuff. Walkathons and she, we did lots and lots of fundraisers this year. We do every year, she cheers. But Trinity's mom booked a flight on direct air and now that the airline has stopped flying, Trinity may have to miss the trip. Her mom can't afford last minute tickets on another airline. $400 for the two of us has now jumped to $1,400, which, especially as a single mother, with all the fundraising we do, that's definitely just not an option. The Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce is trying to get other airlines to pick up Direct Air's routes, but there's no way they can do that in time to help Trinity or anyone else in the short term. This is early enough where other airlines can come in and add some routes, and we're hopeful that'll happen before the summer season, but for those visitors looking to travel in the next few weeks, uh, they're going to have to look to other airlines or drive to the Grand Strand. Dean says it's not unusual for an airline to drop service, though it's disappointing it happened at this time of year and with no advance warning. He says there's still hope Direct Air can re-emerge in time for summer, possibly under another name, and after making some changes in operations. We're hopeful that will happen, but in the interim, we can't count on that. We've got to work with the existing airlines and hopefully get more routes here sooner.